This is uh, day two, I guess, of um, the Swing Away install. I haven't uh, spent, you know, full days on it, but um, yeah, back at it this morning. So I'll just spin the camera around and we'll just run through what I got up to yesterday. So I cut the um, the jerry can holders off this um, passenger side arm because I'm going to weld, you know, a new bracket on there for um, the outboard motor mount. Kmart don't sort of supply one like that, so I'm just gonna make my own. These all went together pretty good. The locks are super tight. I'm not sure, um, you know, if we can adjust them in the future. But uh, as I went through, these ended up being the same height, which is good. Um, maybe just this one can come up a little bit. Yeah, ground that little bracket out, as we spoke about, and everything seems to be going along right. One thing that I didn't do is um these little spaces they go in behind the catch um which brings these arms out a bit further from the body um there's a, a good bit of space in there but I don't know, i'm not sure how much it's supposed to have but there's easy 30 40 mil in there probably maybe 30 mil doesn't look like it on the camera but there probably is um spacing off the uh the tailgate there which if you put this in there to bring it out even further so i think probably at a stage where i'll pull the um the arms off and just d double check all these are tight these as well and i'll get on to the um the bumper bar marking it um for the the cutouts around the reflectors so i've gone through the instructions on page four and five of uh cutting out this uh plastic um inner that is part of the, the plastic bumper bar. I've sort of found that the, um, the, the instructions and the drawings that look pretty simple, but when you read them, it's pretty confusing. So I just sat it back up on top of the car and with, obviously you take out some of this um, black plastic to allow it to go down because you've now got the thickness of the bracket. So I've just sat it on there each side and I'll just mark it with, um, a, uh, a paint pen and and take it out there till it get it to sit back down and get it to, to push forward on the um on the actual car i know the instructions were sort of clear but if we've got it right in front of us here we might as well just centralize it where it's supposed to be and um and just keep chipping away with the grinder cutting the plastic so as you can see i've just used a, a five inch grinder and a grinding wheel to sort of take a step out of this um, plastic cover that goes on the bumper bar. It's not the prettiest of uh, ways to do it, but I guess it's worked. Just pick off all this um, sort of burnt stuff now and I'll place it back on the car. And that that was, I reckon, a much easier way than looking at the instructions. Just sit it up there over the top of the um, catch mounts and see um, where you got to cut it out. Yeah, centralize it. I'll just put some little marks there and there and you can now see it sits back down where it's supposed to be. So now onto the um, the plastic bar, the cutouts. If you um, get a new bar, I guess you'll probably get these templates in your um, in your kit. But we bought the bar, I got the bar from a mate actually who was uh, chopping his 200, so, um, or the swing away, sorry. So, I had to ring Kmart and get these templates. I probably wouldn't attempt to do it without it. I was going to, but looking at sort of the shape and, and how good they're detailed, I'll just ring Kmart, they'll send them in the mail, um, and, and then you can get underway. So these, I guess, uh, just got to position them in the right spot. As uh, On the instructions, there's a little bit of information, and then there's uh, a bit more cutting out to do in and around here. So I'll get all this marked out both sides, and... I'll um, show you what happens before I cut the rear bar. A bit nervous about that. <laughs> ah, 
This is uh, the passenger side. I just sat the uh, the template hard down on the bottom here, and it seemed to, to follow shape pretty good. Um, then I, I went back to the instructions, and as you can see, this figure two in the middle here, sorry about the shadow, it's got this sort of 25 mil coming out, and then a little bit of an oval shape. Now, going around to the other side here, it's probably just how you depict to draw that, I haven't got it in there just yet. But just follow these ribs, on, on the pictures, on the instructions, it, it looks like it just sort of skips that and goes around to the bottom here. It does show a little bit of um, a, uh, a cut that comes out and back into here. It's, it's not that clear on this figure 225 mil. I guess I'm just gonna have to cut small bits at a time, sort of see uh, what we can make of it, yeah. So as you might be able to see in the background there, um, I've started, well, and almost finished this, um, the driver's side. I um, just used a hacksaw blade to, to cut most of it out by hand, um, and then just got my grinder with a flap wheel on it, just carefully sort of shaping the radius, and, and now I've gone back to just a, a file, a metal file. It's um, definitely eaten away the plastic pretty good, so that's how I'll... Um, just shape things and take me time to get it nice and smooth and a nice radius and, and everything as per the, the templates. Just radius and that in there with the file. Cut away the back bit in there. I haven't cut this little loop out yet. I'm gonna fit the rear bar just to see what's going on there and how much I gotta cut out because the instruction's not quite clear. So as you can see, I've done my cutouts. Um, just give them a nice file with um, just a metal file really just to shape all this and, and take a bit of care I haven't um, done this 25 mil hollow out yet I'm just gonna put it on and wait and see what's um, what's required there whether it's access to get the um, the swing aways in down onto the brackets um, so yeah got them cut out pretty nice so now we'll um, we'll fit the bar back on. I've retightened everything, double checked all these nuts and bolts behind here, and we'll uh, see how it goes. Oh, I messed up. I forgot a step. I forgot to measure from the tow bar to where my holes are going to be for my uh, the catches. Uh, in the instructions, it mentions that you can put it all back together, but I'm a bit hesitant that it doesn't quite, you know, work out. I was going to measure the holes. Going to have to take that rear bar back off. <laughs> so I got the bar off. That was a bit of a up. Um, I wanted to get a measurement from from the uh, the tow bar as that sticks through to these holes like left and right and try and get a bit of a height so when I put it back on the bar I can just use a small little drill making sure I can get into the center uh, like I said the instructions say to put it all back together but there's a lot of movement and everything when you bolt it back up again so I reckon just doing this before the bar goes on could just save holes in the wrong spot So I got the measurements. There's actually 10 mil difference between each side. I don't know why, um, as the, the latches, as you've seen, when I had the swingaways on, the, the locks work really good. Maybe because 
One's one was a spare wheel carrier, and one and the other one was jerry can holders. Maybe the locks were in different spot on the arms. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's why I wanted to get measurements because uh, it could be different. So I managed to get this um, driver side one in on my own. A little bit of a, a twisty sort of mission to get it in down through the bar, but I've worked out now why. Um, you know, there's that 25 mil sort of scallop out. It's for the stub, oh, you know, the stub axle piece that, that swings the actual swing away. I've got one bolt in it down the bottom, but it's putting a bit of pressure on that bar there. So I've sort of marked it with the texture. I'll pull it back out. Um, also, just this little bit here, I reckon when it comes over, it sort of hits, hits on this black piece here. So I'll um, take a little bit more out of that. I hopefully can do it without taking the bar off. But everywhere else looks like we've got a good little bit of clearance. So fingers crossed that's the only bit. So as you can see, I've done a few steps ahead here. I've got both the arms swinging. Um, yeah, had the, um, the driver's side on and had to scallop that, that little bit out for the stub. Had to do the same for the passenger side. So um, yeah, got them both on now. So I'll spin the camera around and, and I'll show you what I'm up to now. So as you can see, yeah, scallop that out a bit more. And also uh, on this side. So now I'm fitting the, the latch. Um, had a few sort of questionable um, things with the latch. As you can see, I've got the spacer in there now, but, but I didn't. I just had the latch um, sandwich the bar and, and the inside bracket. Um, and I actually put it out to the Facebook uh, last night to see where these spaces go because the instructions on Kmar don't really explain or the pictures don't really explain too much. So yeah, got a few good people con comment and uh, get some feedback that they are a spacer just like this. Then the latch goes on there like so. And I guess that's to stop any um, stress on this uh, plastic bar. It, it will just sort of float where it is. As you can see, it's quite flush anyways uh, from the, the rear bracket. So that'll, I guess, yeah, stop any major stress going on this plastic and cracking it um, with, um, with the two bits of steel touching. So I'll, as you can see, I drilled some holes. So now I've got to sort of use a Dremel bit and I'll, I'll open these holes up a bit. It's taking a bit of time, but I think um, in the end, it'll be um, it'll be a good thing. Yeah, with the latch, that'll just sort of go straight on over there. It'll tighten on itself, steel on steel, and then this plastic bar will just um, sort of be floating in between. Yeah. So we're all back together. I've pretty much um, completed I guess the, the swing away install. Um, the passenger side one, it's still, um, you know, it still has been cut up because I'm gonna do an outboard um, motor mount. So I might just save that for another video. There's it's probably this video is gonna be way too long anyways. So um, yeah, I'll just take you around these um, these latch, like the locks that I put the spaces in. I'll put the uh, little um, gas struts as well that, that hold the arms from going in and out. So yeah, I'll just spin this camera around. Oh, I don't know about that wire. That's going to be for me um, solar in to the, the battery setup. I'm going to drill and tap that there. So I've got these on. They're pretty standard fitment. As you can see, just in behind there, those spaces, you can probably see it more on the passenger side. I'll just hole sort of hole. And I think that will be a lot stronger and have the bar still being able to, to sort of move and do its thing rather than being compressed in between all the steel it might crack see they shut and look good this one's still well being cut up as i mentioned um but yeah hope you enjoyed the video um yeah hit the like and subscribe i couldn't find nothing online about fitting these swingaways and any tips and tricks so i hope whatever i've done is um gonna help you out cool see you